I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel at the end. Now today we have got this 25 years old male patient, uh, laborer by profession, presented to me with this uh, fleshy pinkish growth in the medial conjunctiva encroaching upon cornea. Patient was referred to me by general physician as pterygium uh, suspicion but that's not pterygium. You can call it pseudoterygium. It's a classical presentation of ocular surface squamous neoplasia OSSN with the large sentinel vessels. Sentinel vessels are large feeder vessels of uh, malignant conjunctival growth. You can appreciate almost six to eight uh, feeder vessels. Then look at the surface, uh, you can appreciate the red dots uh, or strawberry pattern. The presence of large feeder vessels suggest epithelial basement membrane violation. Lesion is located within the sun exposed interpalpebral fissure. So UV light exposure is more in laborers. That's also one of the risk factors. Other risk factors are fair skin, smoking exposure to petroleum products, xeroderma pigmentosum, HPV and HIV. Corneal involvement later occurs and lesion is having characteristic fimbriated or pseudopodia configuration. Anterior segment OCT or ultrasound by microscopy can be done to know its corneal as well as the scleral extent. Now let's uh, come to the treatment uh, medical treatment options are interferon alpha to be mitomycin c drops and 5 fluorouracil if lesion responds to medical treatment uh, it has advantage of avoidance of the surgery its complications positive margins scarring or thinning of the conjunctiva and sclera interferon dose is 1 million international units per ml mitomycin c 0.02% in this patient, I opted for combined approach of excision with 3 mm uninvolved margin. Large margin is important to completely remove the lesion. And I peeled off the corneal lesion with corneal forceps and then scrapped it with 15 number blade. Also applied intraoperative mitomycin C to corneal after scrapping the lesion and cauterized the scleral bed of involved area. Cryo can be done instead of cautery, a very important uh, adjunctive treatment since it extends the surgical margins. Take care not to damage the medial rectus while doing cautery or uh, cryo and it kills the remaining dysplastic cells at bare sclera margins and involved limbus. Tissue is sent for histopathology in case if margins are returned positive, topical therapy can be used to kill the residual dysplastic cells. Recurrence is common, it is 50% in the positive margins and 30% even if the surgical margins turn out negative within 10 years. So close follow-up is necessary, avoidance of the UV light, uh, use of sun shades, um, and uh, mm, that's the pre op picture of uh, our patient. Uh, you can see large, fresh region with sentinel vessels, uh, and that's the first day post op picture uh, of our patient. Uh, we have made topical MMC drops, uh, uh, so the patient will use it for the next two weeks. So that's how post-op uh, on first day the patient looks. Uh, you can see the clear cornea and conjunctiva is also divided of the OSSN. Thank you very much.